all right what is up youtube back at it again with another reaction video to the latest uh videos that have come out on the knights of the zodiac youtube channel i've kind of been putting this off to react to because i saw that they revealed a training clip and you know behind the scenes thing but i just didn't really think that each one was worth reacting to separately uh, and then as it turns out they released another one yesterday so i figured okay they've got a few videos kind of bundled up so we might as well react to all of them because they're all pretty short so we can like watch all of them react to all of them and that could make for one pretty good video and yeah i may cut to just me talking about things if there's anything interesting because i am trying to avoid copyright but that's what we're gonna do for this video for anyone that hasn't seen it i hope you guys are excited because i have not seen any of these so hopefully we are in for a treat but yeah let's not waste any more time without further ado Let's get into it. All right, so I wanted to start with the Modding Train Seiya film clip because this one is, I think, the most interesting to me or the one that I'm most interested in. So let's get into it. Only 38 seconds. Okay. Okay. I do like the environment here. I don't know if there's actually going to be lines, though. Hold up. Okay. Okay, I like the shot coming into him. Okay. I guess there's no lines for this clip. It's just kind of like montage-esque because I'm pretty sure that in the actual film there's going to be, you know, some dialogue between them. But, I mean, I would hope so, right? But we'll see. But I think they're just kind of giving us a little tease for now so they don't give us everything the film has to offer, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, so that was it. Okay, yeah, I'm hoping that there's more because I do kind of want to see these two characters build upon each other in their relationship. I'm sure there's gonna be more in the actual movie. I think they just wanted to kind of like show us a little teaser for this clip and you know, just not give away everything that the movie has to offer because it is coming out pretty soon, May 12th, basically a month away, actually a little bit less than a month away. So that's pretty crazy. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie from what we do have here. Like I will say, you know, it's cool how it kind of comes onto his face. Like, the shot just keeps going closer and closer and closer to him. Like, I like that. By the way, he's got hair looking on point, okay? But, uh, <laughs> I think the only thing I can really say is, like, right here, when he actually does the punch. Like, I don't know, man. It just doesn't look great to me in terms of the CG and effects and stuff. Like, it doesn't, uh... It doesn't, like, like the way his fist comes down and then, you know, comes back up, I feel like, I don't know, it feels a little bit artificial, I want to say. And not that that's going to make or break the movie for me, but it just does look a little bit dry. Like, I don't know. I don't really get the impact, the gusto from that punch, you know? And I will say that from the other trailers that we've seen, when Say is, like, fighting in the armor, there's also a lot of parts where the CG doesn't look great. Uh, so, I don't know. I guess maybe I'm starting to get a sense of the budget for this film, at least in the digital effects department department uh but again i mean i don't think it'll make or break the movie for me so we'll see but anyway let's move on to the next video okay so now we got the behind the scenes video so yeah let's check this one out already starting off with mckinney and his workout grind okay okay so this was what we saw in the uh in the trailer with him kind of like at this fight club or this fight scene in this underground club looking area i do like how they show you see the cameraman move? Yo, okay, that's crazy, actually. The precision, bro, the precision. And the guy, like, on the left side of the camera, like, having to hold his focus and everything, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Okay, now we get into... Okay, so, actually, we get a closer look at the armor here, which, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I still don't really like the look of the armor. I think seeing it here makes it even... Oof. It, it, it doesn't look great, bro. It doesn't look great. Um, It doesn't really look accurate to the manga and anime iteration of the armor. And it just also, to me, just doesn't look special, like, at all. Maybe I'll warm up to the look of the armor like later on but i don't know i don't really particularly like the armor or the look of it anyway too much okay okay i like this okay so we're seeing more shots of them seemingly training maybe probably going through like a final fight this is pretty cool to see, honestly. Like for you guys, it might not be all that interesting or all that special, but for me, like this is definitely 
really cool to see. And I do hope that more live action adaptations of anime do come out and they do start a YouTube channel. They do more videos like this because this is really cool for me to see anyway. Just kind of like being a filmmaker and stuff. I really like to see this stuff. Okay, so now we get him in this armor, honestly? Hmm. I never really talked about his look for when he's like in this sort of armor. To be honest, I feel like this armor and this look is more manga anime accurate than the armor that he gets, you know, like with the wings on it and stuff like this. And also in the rest of the movie or like from what we've seen, the look anyway, he's just kind of wearing a red shirt looking like Iron Man type beats. So I feel like this look right here is definitely the most accurate we can see Seiya. But it also is kind of weird. Like I feel like this is definitely the most anime and manga accurate look. But at the same time, when you look at Seiya and he looks like this, which he just kind of looks like a regular dude, and you see him like this most of the time, seeing him like this almost kind of feels weird, even though it's supposed to be in a movie that's based on an anime that does look a lot like this, but it's kind of weird because when you see him mostly look like that, and then it it's almost feels like this look kind of feels out of place. So I wonder if they're gonna kind of play on to that. Maybe try to make it seem like this look really isn't, you know, all that, or like it's outdated or something like that, because, cause, you know, from previous trailers, it does kind of seem like they're going for a new type of world, a new type of look with the Saint Seiya live action. And and maybe they're trying to hint at the old look or like this look not really fitting well with this world of Saint Seiya and just overall this live action adaptation because it's kind of similar to like X-Men where when they did the X-Men movies they had like the black jumpsuits instead of the yellow and blue ones that were like originally based from the comics why they did that has not necessarily been like finalized or anything but I think overall it was just to kind of you know go with the serious tone of the movie and yellow and blue might have looked too ridiculous especially in that era like early 2000s but for those first few movies they kind of hinted at that at the idea of those like yellow suits kind of just being too ridiculous so maybe they might do something like that with this movie we'll see oh this looks so cool dude what is is that? Why, he's in a car like whoa it looks like they're <laughs> traveling through hyperspace like what this looks kind of crazy actually okay okay a lot of stunt work here this is crazy, bro. This location looks dope. Look at that. Oh, that looks good. Okay. Okay, okay. Behind the scenes is pretty cool, pretty cool. Of course, they're not going to show anything like we haven't seen before or like too much of what we haven't seen before, I feel like, because again, movie's coming out very, very soon. They don't want to spoil it. They don't want to give away everything the movie has to offer, but they do want to give us a little bit more, right? So I think they're doing a pretty good job of that. Um, some of the shots and like seeing how they were constructed, I think was really, really cool, especially for me. So I think so far, this one is definitely my favorite video. But yeah, we have one last one to check out. So let's get into that. All right. So this is the meet the cast video. So I'm assuming there's going to actually be talking this time around. I'm Ken Yu. I play the role of Seiya in Knights of the Zodiac Saint Seiya. Okay. Okay. And Seiya, everything he does is thinking about his sister. Yeah, this shot right here, this looks kind of fire, not going to lie. And finding her. And 10 years later, he starts fighting. We have never seen anything like this in Japan. The art. Hmm. Okay, interesting comment there. He said, I've never seen anything like this in Japan? I'm assuming he means, you know, just the live action adaptation aspect of it. Armor and the sets, everything's spectacular. Right, yeah, yeah. Which I find very interesting because, uh, you know, if you've seen a few of my other videos, you kind of get the gist of why I'm not too fond of a lot of Japanese live action adaptations of anime and I think our boy may have confirmed a few of those uh, suspicions but anyway let's keep going I love the director in Tomek he's a very easygoing guy but also seeing a Japanese American in a, in a great role okay okay interesting interesting i like how he said that where he said um you know seeing a japanese american in a great role i mean i feel like they gotta mention that right especially just for the pr's sake of like hey here is a movie based on an anime that's from japan so hey we have japanese american playing the guy you know i feel like they gotta they gotta flex that you know so that the the pr and the haters can have less to say or less to talk about so kind of glad they actually 
actually did mention that. Me personally, I just kind of like want to see whoever can play the role the best. So it doesn't really like matter all that much to me. But I think it's definitely pretty cool that they mentioned that to give the haters one less thing to hate on. But uh, yeah, you know, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. It didn't really show him, I guess, you know, kind of geeking out over Saint Seiya or anything like that. I was hoping that maybe he would or at least kind of mention something about him and his relation to Saint Seiya or like if he has any history with it if he watched the series or read the manga stuff like that but um I don't know I guess we'll see it, it, it almost feels like he's kind of trying to stick to character even in this video and I feel like in all the trailers that we've gotten and everything he seems so like stern and stoic in a way and I just kind of want to see you know him not that way because you know like he seems like a cool guy like a chill dude but I I feel like everything we've gotten from him whether it be in trailers and even in this video he seems very like just to the point very stoic very you know like okay i want to achieve this goal or like whatever and i'm hoping that there's more to him that there's like another side to his character not just his character in the movie but him as a person like damn i mean is he not allowed to show you know any sense of humor or any like i don't know i mean you definitely have like i think shots of him where you know he seems like he's not just robotic right like in the one part where he's in the car or whatever and he's like smiling at the camera like that's cool and i'm sure that like you know he is like there's a lot more to him as a person but i feel like from what we've seen or like what they're willing to show it almost feels like they don't want to show him as more than what his character needs to do for the story whether that be in the movie trailers or just even in videos like this but i don't know maybe i'm looking too deep into it maybe he's just you know being him and you know they just didn't ask him questions to where he would be more vulnerable or be more charismatic or be more like you know laughing and joking around and or maybe they just cut those questions out for this video who really knows right i'm just kind of like trying to give some commentary for the sake of making an interesting video for you guys to watch and maybe comment on you know discuss debate in the comment section but yeah speaking of which that is going to be the end of this video so what are your guys's thoughts on anything i had to say or any of these three videos that we reacted to let me know in the comments below please leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already that helps me out a ton and as always thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see y'all in the next video